Happy Friday, everyone. I've got some good news. If you're a voter in Victoria and you're not sure who to vote for in your council elections because they're all independents and there's no information, our How to Vote cards are live at tpausd.com.au. If you want them to stick to roads, rates and rubbish, our How to Vote cards are for you. They are out there to actually inform you on who's running and how we would number the card if we were in your area. Now, again, the, the cards aren't perfect. We have only covered 60% of the areas because there's 500 different areas. And a word of warning, you must number every single box, every single candidate, otherwise your card won't count. So that made our job very, very difficult. But if you think that we've made a mistake in your area, if you think that we, um, if we've missed your area and you want to give us a bit of guidance about how to vote in your area, please email me at elections at tpaust.com.au and I'm very eager to hear how you would number the ballot um, so that we can actually get that out there as soon as possible. Now, local elections are something that should be simple. Um, I wish more freedom parties would run in them, but there aren't many freedom parties running. In fact, 99% of candidates that run you will notice there will be no party affiliation next to them. So how do you know who are the people that are out to support you? How do you know who are the socialists? Who are the LGBT people? Who are the people that supported the voice during the actual voice referendum? Well, um, it's very difficult to work that out, but we've done a lot of that work in the How to Vote cards and um, we're hoping it makes your job really easy. So voting has started, early voting has started in Victoria and the official day that it ends is the 26th of October. So if you've got a mail-in ballot, send that in as soon as possible. If you wanna vote in person, that's always best. Go as soon as you can or go on election day, that's always best. Take a pen as always. And um, I hope you guys really um, give it a crack. These how to vote cards we did in New South Wales went very well. We got 10 libertarians elected, a bunch of phenomenal independents elected. And in Cessnock Council, they almost won a majority of the uh, councillors, they won five out of 12 councillors, almost six councillors, by the way, and they won the popular vote for the mayor. So don't think that these council elections are irrelevant. They are relevant. If you're wondering why a street is painted rainbow with a rainbow crossing, if you're wondering why your council is putting millions of dollars to support the voice, that's a council problem. And council is important because what happens at a council level, if you win in council, it makes it easier for you, for you to win a state seat in the state elections and also a federal seat in the federal elections and of course referendums as well, it helps with that. So head to tpaust.com.au, get a free how to vote card if you're not sure how to vote. If we've missed anything, please email us at elections at tpaust.com.au. I don't want your comments below here because I can't monitor 25 different accounts on all the different platforms. I want your comments to go to me at the How to Vote cards. If we've done a great job, that's great. Let me know on, on email as well. And I hope you find a lot of value in this. These tools, they're free. They also show you where the nearest places are to vote as well. I've reached out to a lot of your favorite social media people in Victoria to get their advice on how they'd vote in their areas as well. And so I hope you find value in this. And um, let's see what result comes out of it. If you're a voter in, in, in any other state, Queensland, your state election, or the ACT, or the by-elections in New South Wales, there's three of them, Hornsby, uh, Pittwater, and Epping. Our How to Vote cards are also available at tpaust.com.au totally for free. If you want to support our work, please shoot us a few bucks on the website. We do this because we want the freedom movement to be better organized and actually mobilized together. And, and that's my job. I enjoy doing it. You can see I enjoy doing it with the show and with everything that I'm doing. But um, if you guys want to support what I'm doing, that's the best way to do it as well. So share these cards. If you're outside the state for any of these elections going on, send uh, this link to anyone you know, because maybe they don't know how to vote in Victoria or Queensland or New South Wales or Canberra. Let them know about these cards and it might actually give them another data point to understand um, who's running in their area. So I'll let you guys go. I'm looking forward to seeing how these results come in all on the 26th of October. Share this video, give it a like, give it a comment. If there's any problems, let me know. And if your area is not yet covered in Victoria, check check again in, in another day and um, it'll probably be up. But I'll see you guys later. God bless you. Enjoy your weekend. 
Christmas is coming up. Christmas festivities, the Christmas trees are coming out in the shopping centers. I'm really excited about that too. And how about that US election? Isn't that gonna be interesting? I don't think you'll need a how to vote card for that one, Americans. I think it's pretty obvious the way America wants to vote. Let's see what happens on November 5th. I'll see you guys later. We'll be doing a live stream on election night as well. I'm looking forward to it, but uh, have a good weekend and I'll see you soon.